Okay, we're back in Pingendo and we've looked at some basic functions in previous tutorials. This one we're going to look at doing a sort of a cover image up at the top or a hero image and look at the options we have. So first of all, I've opened Pingendo and I just click here to create a new page. This will present us with an empty default, a landing page and also to create themes. So we'll just go for the empty default once we've done that, the first thing we need to do is go File, Save Document. This needs to be saved in a site folder. So I've created a site folder and named it. I have a subfolder in there, which I have all my images, which they've been scaled and ready to use. Now I need to call this uh, index, because it's just going to be a landing page. And once I've saved that, it will save here. Pingendo adds .html on the end of it, so you don't have to do that yourself. Now, if I go to the sections, there's two options for the header. Up here, you can drag and drop a cover and also just a nav bar. Now, if we click on here and drag the cover, you will see it's got a nav bar sort of nested inside it. And then also it's got another section on here with a heading, a subheading and a sort of call to action click on there. Now that's what, what's on there. Now if we now come over and change some of that, we want to put an image on there. If I just click on the background uh, of, on the cover, you'll see you'll have the cover um, settings over here. Underneath where it's got children, it'll have image and we click on there and I will open up my images folder and I'll select the image I want for the top and here it is. Now, a number of things have happened is we can quite easily change these. So we click on the heading and just change that to white. Then we click on the subheading and we change that to white. And also, I just want my button to be a blue color. So I change that as well. So I've changed those around. So we changed all those elements um, on my page. Now, the only issue is you have the nav bar, which is not easy to see based on my background. Ideally, you probably just choose a more suitable background so you cut a bit of contrast. But I click on the nav bar. The only options it gives me here, it's got inverse. And as we've seen before, when you do inverse the nav bar in the, the settings that you just have for the uh, navigation bar when you drag that out, when I click inverse, it will change it to a black background. Here, it just leaves it transparent and just changes the text to white isn't really what I want. Now the option being if I click on here to select the whole cover um, it's got where it's got children it says nav bar and if I click on that it will turn the nav bar off and I'll reinstate it in a minute. Now once we've got that it gives us a number of options that we can use which is scroll and fixed. I will just leave it on scroll. The next thing I'll do is go up and get the navigation bar and drop that. So I'll put it up here till the blue line appears and I've got it on there. So if I just click here, uh, first thing I can do is go over to the settings and it's got the appearance and change in verse and put a tick on it. Now it's on a black background. All right. So once that's done, I can preview it so you can have a little bit of a mini preview here because we're going to be scrolling it we need some other items underneath so I'll just go ahead and drag out this section here for three I drop it down to the bottom so a blue line appears puts it on there we've got that on I'll scroll up I'll just get another section on here these are just so it allows the scroll and here's another section so I've laid those out like that so this has got a good bit of scrolling on there and I may just do one more to give a bit of scroll. Right, now set that up. Um, if I remember to save it, always check if you've got a little asterisk up at the top. Sometimes when you preview it in the browser, it may not do that because it's not all up to date. I click on my folder up here uh, and that opens my site folder and then I can double click on my index. Now here I've got my image set up. Now if I scroll up here, you'll see it'll just go all the way up because it's set to scrolling and also the bar is also set to go up with it. Let's change some of those. So if I come back here, first of all, I'll click on the nav bar up at the top. Once the nav bar is on there, if I go over to position, 
if I click on this first one, which is nav bar fixed to top, you can have it fixed to the bottom or just have it static, which static means it just goes up and scrolls to the rest of the page. I just put it stuck to the top. You can preview it here and it shows you how that works. But what we can do is if I make sure I save that up to date and I just see where that up to. And when I do that now, you'll see it's staying stuck to the top. And as we scroll, it does that. Now the cover image is also scrolling up so we can change that. Let's go back and have a look at what's going on. So we click on the, the actual cover on the background. It will give us the settings for it. Down at the bottom, we've got scroll and then we've got fixed. It's currently on scroll. I change it to fixed. I save it. I go to my browser and I just refresh. Now when I scroll up, it does this sort of effect, which is quite common um, on, on websites. Okay, that's just a, another quick overview of some of the functions that Pingendo can do with Twitter Bootstrap. Also probably mentioned before, you can get the code down the bottom and that is editable and to get the most out of it, you need to be familiar with markup and, um, and cascading style sheets where you can amend things further or you can save them and do them in your favorite text editor. But that's just some simple ways you can lay out the structure for further editing.